Capricorn, I feel like it's you that's losing your shit, okay? I feel like it's you that's going through this emotional storm. Could be wrong. Cross-watcher energy can and will play a part in this energy. But as I meditate on this energy, it feels to me like there's an emotional storm here, you guys. Somebody has ghosted, disappeared, became invisible, okay? They're not giving as much attention, energy, or... um interest as they once were okay um this is turmoil here this is instability this is very much so affected and what is affected is somebody's marriage a proposal fidelity relationship boyfriend girlfriend higher connection whatever it is it has blown up in somebody's face here something shocking has happened chaos sudden change destruction negativity upheaval chaos has ensued you guys damage is being done damage is being done you guys somebody is seriously full of anxiety there's fear here there's panic and on a side note there's a silver car a gray car or a black car here okay that somebody definitely has all right um this person has triggered okay somebody here somebody's name triggers somebody there is places that triggers um somebody somebody may be hearing this person's name a lot possibly um or possibly seeing this here car that they have to, or that you have okay that is also triggering somebody here listen i have this energy of somebody don't not really giving a fuck too much okay they really are about to lose their shit okay when i say that they're they're in pressure cooker mode you guys they're becoming more and more enraged okay they are ready to explode they are very much so ready to become extroverted here okay somebody might have busted somebody windows out here somebody might have you know um slit somebody's tires keyed somebody car that could possibly have been it as well yours or you didn't did it to somebody one or the other okay but nonetheless, we do have a situation to whereas there is a lot of roguishness here and somebody is full of ideas. This is not a good. This would be a good thing if it was positivity behind it. But it's not a very good thing when I got pressure cooker in, in engulfed in rage. OK, that means that somebody is on the verge here, like this card says, to um, either announce something, um, you know, make a. a yeah, about to either reveal, announce something, confess something or just really about to take the brakes off of they common sense, okay? And let's hope let's let's just hope that's not you uh Capricorn cuz should nobody put you, you know, in this type of energy, okay? But um, you know, things happen. This channel does not condone violence of any kind of sort, okay? I must say that, all right? Doesn't mean it doesn't happen, okay? And all I'm doing is reading energy, but I do see where somebody is 38 hot, okay? I see where love has blown up in somebody's face. Somebody feels bound. Abuse is here for some of you guys. Somebody has been jumped on here. Somebody has been through the, the absolute positive ringer with somebody. Even though there's a magnetic attraction to somebody, somebody has a serious pull. And I believe it's a trauma bond, you guys, because I got karmic, okay? I got karmic with the two of cups, okay? So with this here, friendship, marriage, harmony, soulmate love proposal balance compatibility i got karmic here okay and this is the reason why shit is blowing up in somebody's face this bond this magnetic attraction for whoever this is for and i know some of them this is my twin flag look i can only read what's on the board okay y'all y'all know what it is okay so i mean you know rather you want it to be your twin flame or your soulmate or whatever the case may be um, if it is your twin flame, I don't have that here yet. I possibly may get it when we start pulling cards. Y'all know me well. So, you know, this is energy that I have. But, you know, starting out here, this ain't nobody's twin flame. As far as I'm concerned, not right now. What it is, though, is it's somebody's damn karmic, okay? So, with that being said, all right, this is the reason why the third party situations and the relationship lessons that has been going on you know for quite a bit of time all right you guys karmic relationships can feel even more intense than any of the other ones i lo i know less about twin flame connections than i do about the other ones okay you guys um but i can tell you with the karmic bond you know there is a lot of other aspects that kicks in just you know besides this is something that's meant to be in my life all right this is a trauma bond, y'all. This is a codependency. This is somebody who, you know, um, rather it's positive or negative. Somebody is getting some type of attention for nine times out of 10 is toxic attention. OK, that each one of the people involved are getting some type of fix from. OK, because they come from a toxic situation. So what they have done is they've gravitated towards other toxic individuals and they formed what we call a trauma bond. All right. 
And this is the reason why somebody ends up learning the massive amounts of lessons that somebody learns from this type of individual, right? So this is what it feels like to me. And, um, you know, and after all of this, after all of, uh, you know, the turmoil, the chaos, the sudden change, the negativity, you know, shit blowing up in somebody's face and somebody being 38 hot, we have somebody that is running. OK, we have somebody that is not taking accountability. We have somebody that is blame shifting. We have somebody that is ghosting. They're disappearing and they're not giving any energy to this. OK, which is causing somebody else here. OK, to um, get even more upset. All right. That's what we're dealing with, y'all. So this is what we're going to deal with in this energy. You guys, um, you know, I'm doing the signs that are most affected in this uh, energy. OK, yesterday and today is some serious um, energy shifts here. I see five of cups. Somebody's crying. They can't stop crying. OK, um, th th this is some serious energy. I actually spent most of my days speaking to my community members, you guys, um, and, and not just my community members. I have people who I read for, okay. My VIPs and stuff like that. I've, uh, spent today talking about the energy that is uh, going on. Okay. And there are several signs that are affected today. I'm going to be doing the ones that are affected the most. Okay. Aquarius is one of them. Pisces is one of them. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus is one of them. Okay. Or some of them. Okay. Um, and it's, you know, been anywhere between the job and the love okay that is really coming off the hinges you guys um this is very provocative energy this is go mode energy and this really is fucking energy okay this is energy that will cause somebody to be like you know what so uh, they don't care okay but listen you guys gonna have to ride this energy out this energy is only gonna last um you know you got two more days here okay with this retrograde but you still got a seven day shadow a period of time okay so listen if you're in this energy having this emotional storm hitting these towers okay um my suggestion to you is not to be and I do feel like it's you. I've just seen the king, queen, king of uh, coins here. But I, it's not to be in this pressure cooker mode, okay? It's not to be in this roguish, extroverted, you know, out here about to act a whole zoo ass mode, okay? The reason why is because you can get some serious trouble, okay? This is provo this is this is very in the unstable, um, volatile energy, you guys, okay? This is not the type of energy that you, you know, first of all, is really thinking about your head anyway, okay? You Emotions are taking over during this time, okay? So you got to understand that all right and a lot of things we can do in emotions that we wouldn't necessarily do when we coming off the brain you see what i'm saying so my suggestion to you if you are dealing with this energy and this energy is hitting your ass like a mat truck and you find yourself um responding okay and maybe not a good way as a matter of fact definitely not in a good way with this here tower all right and with this emotional storm just stand down all right stand down be easy. Wait till this energy passes before you make any moves, okay? Because honestly, this is what's going to send you back to jail, okay? This right here is going to end up, you know, causing the, the fights, the arguments, you see what I'm saying? The breakups, the, um, all of it, you got you guys, people's wires are getting crossed like a mug, okay? So, stand down, okay? Stay as much to yourself as you possibly can. And, um, and just understand that this energy will, it will pass. Okay. If it's meant, um, you know, for you to deal with this, understand it'll still be meant for you to deal with this after this retrograde. Okay. That the situation still will be there. Okay. So I'm having this pep talk with you guys. And the reason why is because I have two, uh, VIPs that have just went to jail yesterday, you guys. Um, and also I have fights everywhere. All right. I told you I was on the phone here earlier and i was talking to several of my community members along with my vips all right and for some of the signs that i'm doing today capricorn included has been feeling this shit very much so okay now the spectrum is either they've been very very angry okay or they've been very very sad all right so i don't know which one you fall into if this you know fits for you okay if it doesn't fit for you then it don't fit for you okay so um uh, capricorn let's go ahead and get on with it okay uh much love much respect my day ones, my VIPs, my uh, community members, shout out Train to Go. We are clicked up, you guys. Make sure you join Train to Go, you guys. Um, there are plenty of perks, all right. And like I said, we I talk to them all the time, so it's very hands on with me, okay. Um, for my new and recent subscribers, you guys, thank you so much for accepting my invitation to subscribe. You guys, I am very happy that you're here. If you have not, let me know. Go in the comment section below. Let me know that you're new to the channel. That way, I can give you a warm welcome that you deserve. I do have a hands on relationship with a lot of subscribers who have let themselves be known to me. I would love to have one with you as well.
And also, the more that I see you, the higher chances are to win. Win what? One of the things is for every 100 new subscribers, somebody will get a free read, okay? So, Capricorn, I've already prayed over these clarifiers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I've asked for truth, Capricorn, revelation, confirmation, guidance, consolation, peace, and protection as I give Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Messiah, all the praise, the honor, and the glory, okay? So, with that being said... This is what we're expecting in this read. Remember, you guys, puzzle pieces. My goal is to put one together for you, all right, Um, in this read, okay? So, like I've already told you, I feel like it's you that's heated, okay? I feel like it's you that is enraged, all right? I feel like it's you that's either crying a river because I did see the five of uh, cups as I was shuffling, um, or you that is, is you know, is, is feeling this anxiety here, this panic here, and possibly being triggered here, okay? But understand Cross watcher energy can and will get involved in readings, okay? And there's 12 signs in the zodiac, y'all, okay? So just because I feel like it's you, that don't make me right, okay? So, you know, cross watcher energy, you know, cross watcher. I want you guys to know before we get started that I love cross watcher just like I love Capricorn, okay? Since Capricorn has done this to you, please go in the comment section below. Let me know. I'm very interested to know how energy interchanges, okay? Um, so you guys, somebody has hit a tower, all right? Somebody has wrecked, all right, regarding a love situation. Some type of commitment, some type of marriage, a cycle has ended and one has begun. I don't know how happy somebody is about this here cycle ending. All right. I know one thing. I know somebody is ghosted. I know somebody disappeared. I know somebody's pulling their energy back. I know an emotional storm is here. I know a, a most um, upheaval has ensued. I don't know how, you know, and then, yeah, see, we got a lot of defensiveness here, you guys, okay? So we got somebody here that not only a cycle has changed and somebody is full of anxiety, scared, or panic, okay? Chaos has ensued. Love has blown up. Um, we got somebody here very defensive as well, okay? We got protectiveness here. Somebody is definitely standing their ground, territorial resistance for some of you under attack, okay? Um, so, you know, like I said, domestic violence possibly can, you know, have something to do with this. Dude, female, both jump on each, you know. But nonetheless, you know, and it has something to do with, uh, um, who do I have here? I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Heavy Scorpio. Gemini, possibly Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, possibly. Okay, so what is she doing? Holy Spirit. Could be a marriage. Possibly could be. Okay. Could be somebody in a religious organization. Somebody a part of a church. Somebody faith on 10. Nonetheless, whoever it is, is somebody who's blind to the truth. Is somebody who is in a self-imposed prison. Somebody might be in jail here. Somebody might have went to jail, Okay. Behind this, I told you, I got two people who I know went to jail. Um, so somebody might have got carted off to jail here. Anxiety, fear, helplessness, powerless, filled in track, victimized, you know, powerless, restricted. Give me more, please, Holy Spirit, for your sons and your daughters. Thank you. Possibly work. For some of you guys, it's going to be something that worked and happened, okay? Somebody that fell out at work, too, okay? But it also could be commitment as well. Somebody definitely um, is at a fork in the road here. Definitely need to make a decision. What about the chariot? Somebody's seeing a, a gray car, black car. This is a newer model car. Yeah. This person here is driven to succeed and have victory in all the things that they want, you guys, okay? They're determined uh, to be indecisive, okay? They're determined to be indecisive. Yes, you heard me correctly, okay? They don't want to make a decision, all right? They want to be on the fence. They like having all these options, all right? They're not confused at all, you guys. And if they are, they're happy to be confused, okay? This person likes the fact that there's multiple possibilities and that they have multiple choices, okay? They like to leave their options open, all right? And they're driven to succeed, all right? They have a lot of willpower to stay in this here energy, okay? So what I mean is, is they're happy being here, all right? They don't want to make a decision, all right? Yeah, and especially when it comes down to this third party situation that somebody just sat up here and spied on and found out about. I don't know if they have found out about you, um, Capricorn, or you done found out about them, okay? All this I know is that somebody is here spying, okay, on somebody having a third party situation. And also, shit, this ain't just a third party situation. This is a fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh party situation, too. This person deals with multiple people, all right? Puzzle pieces. 
Right. A lot of sex here. Okay. Somebody's watching this. Somebody, listen, I'm seeing a videotape, y'all. Somebody just set up here and uh, made a videotape. Somebody done seen something on a videotape. You know, like video, not videotape, y'all. Like a phone, you know, video shit. Sex, y'all. Some, some type of sex on the video. Okay. Right. And this shit done caused problems. Whatever somebody's seen here in that situation, it done caused some serious problems. An emotional storm. Messed up somebody's commitment. Somebody was in love. Somebody was loyal. Somebody was sensitive. Somebody on the verge of acting the whole zoo out here. Loving and nurturing and kind. And only finds yourself in a bunch of worryation when it comes down to this person. Who, like I told you, likes to uh, be indecisive. Okay? They like it. All right, you guys? It's just that simple. I keep saying that because, you know, I feel somebody thinking that this person is so lost. I feel somebody thinking that this person... You know, um, so much things didn't happen to this person, this person's life. You know, this person has a bad childhood, person have been neglected, you know, person grew up in a group home, making all of these excuses for this individual. All right. Listen, this person likes to be indecisive. All right. This person wants multiple opportunities. They like their options. All right. That needs to be clear. And the only thing they keep bringing is disappointment, okay? I understand that it's love, and I understand that some of y'all is married. I got a counterpart, okay? But it still doesn't take away the fact that this investment here, you know, they go off and share it with other people. This person possibly is in jail. This person possibly is in rehab. This person possibly is in AA, NA. This person poss possibly does travel. Maybe travel is what they do. Relocation, possibly at a distance, online. Might not be originally from where they're at right now, Okay. Uh, maybe somebody has tried to move into peace for in calmer waters with this individual possibly but I see somebody spending a lot of money on this individual too and like I said they get gone all right they get gone they get missing all right so we have running we got ghosting we got disappearing we got becoming invisible we got abandonment we got withdrawn we got walking away uh we got a travel escapism somebody's reaching their limit okay somebody definitely does feel a lack of importance here okay Right. And they got a whole bunch of secrets on top of everything else. So they're going back and forth, you guys. OK, for, uh, for some of you, the truth will be that this person is going back and forth to somebody who they're married to. Or if you're the one that's married to them, then they're going back and forth today, third, fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth party. OK, but give me this deception, please, because this is a lot of deception, you guys. This has caused somebody very much so to be insecure. What has the financial, the flexibility, somebody needing somebody for money here. Also, and, and using for somebody some for money here. Also, um, the, the juggling. OK, this has caused somebody insecurity as well. OK, because what it's made somebody feel like is that they're not enough. All right. Right. And somebody knows that something is unattainable here. As much excuses as somebody makes for somebody here. Somebody knows that something is, is, is very much so unattainable. Give me this uh, pressure cooker because we got somebody who's ready to act a fool out here, okay? Or has already, one or the other. Because they in mental anguish, Just that's why. They're being pushed. Their buttons are being pushed. This person is pushing their buttons. I don't know. You know, for some of you, maybe they, they've showed you text messages. Maybe they're poking at you, Okay. For some, maybe, you know, they're saying to you, oh, I got somebody else or oh, this person can do it better than you or whatever the case may be. But they're poking at somebody in some type of way, shape, fashion or form. And it's causing mental anguish. All right. And for some of y'all, y'all is in the headspace to where you can accept that. Go on this two of wands. Listen to what's being said. Process it. Wait to make a decision and then proceed. OK, and then for some of y'all, y'all is already extroverted as it is. OK, and also full of ideas and ready. OK, ready, ready to do what? Ready to get, you know, get you know, some. I don't know. Y'all mental anguish being pushed. OK, dealing with something, something going to get dealt with. I don't know. person is pushing somebody though i can tell you that much somebody to fuck with somebody's money somebody also has family issues when it comes down to this somebody definitely feels a lack of importance somebody tried to be nonchalant about this situation there is a family situation that is very much so falling apart here 
Somebody is falling from grace when it comes down to their job. Somebody lost the job. Somebody did not get the promotion. Somebody did not get the recognition or winning the way that they needed to. Or they didn't get the job. Some type of entrepreneurship is not taking off. It's very slow. And this is pissing somebody else off as well. So, you know, for the ones of you that this job and stuff, entrepreneurship is not taking off the way it needs to or want to. Coupled with this person pressing somebody's buttons here. Yes, that's the reason why I have rage here. Presser cooker. Somebody has put a lot of time and work into this. Still to have secrets kept from them, okay? Still to have money issues. There's money issues here. For some of you. Puzzle pieces, y'all. Y'all know how I do. Okay? Right. It looked like you. Want, yeah, wanting healing. Wanting a new beginning. Being very optimistic. Okay? About this here love. So tell me about it, Holy Spirit. Wanting a reunion, possibly. Maybe just had a reunion. Was optimistic about this reunion. Thinking that things was going to change. Thinking that, you know, or possibly learn a lesson. Definitely wanted this to come true. Definitely had foresight, exploring. Somebody had all their eggs in one basket when it comes to a person here. Okay, because now I got twin flame soulmate connection. Okay, somebody here had a twin flame soulmate connection. There's conversation here, communication. Somebody wants peace, harmony, and flow. There possibly was some at one particular time. But I have the eight of wands upside down. So some of you guys are not getting any conversation at all, period. Definitely looking for another job. Definitely looking for bright opportunity. Give me the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, new beginning. Somebody's going to be traveling, relocating, changing jobs, perhaps. Or just wanting to get back with the person they love. That's all I see here is wanting this person. But I see Five of Cups. Again, I seen that when I was uh, shuffling, okay? So this is, you know, jail is here, you guys. Hospital's here. Babies could have been born, all right? Um, or somebody, you know, went to the hospital, somebody's sick, somebody went to jail, wounded, set back guarded, somebody's focused on loss. Give me the two of cups, please. Five, seven, right. Got everything to do with options. Baby mom, baby dad, somebody who in adventurous, in and out, taking risks, free spirited, rebellious, inconsistent. Don't listen to shit. Okay. Game over. Hold on. This is a, yeah, somebody got cut off here. Okay. Somebody got cut off. Because this was a serious ass burden. Somebody was overwhelmed. And now we got death to this. So anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because the only thing that's happening is, is they're sitting up here. Some, for some of you, the truth is they're in jail. Okay. For some of you, the truth is, is they're flaunting their new person in front of you. Okay. They're online um, flaunting this person. All right. For some of you, the truth is going to be that you've seen some type of uh, tape, some type of video. Okay. Of something heard some type of voicemail something okay but this has caused a lot of uh, conflict you guys and hostility on top of everything else but they're flaunting something in front of somebody maybe a commitment you know um ghosting disappearing invisible but they're not invisible to this other individual over here though that's the thing okay so it's like why are you invisible to me but you're not invisible to them well because they want to be all right you guys that's why that, that's why they're invisible to you and they're not invisible to them, okay? It's because they want to be. I told you. They like being indecisive, all right? They like these options. They like their options open, okay? Even though I can see where somebody has told somebody a bunch of bullshit. I can see that, okay? There's no way that the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands is going to be here in the Knot of Cups if it wasn't a whole bunch of bullshit being said, okay? So, yes, the I love yous was there, okay? Yes, the um, I think about you. I want to, you know, me and you going to do this thing called life together. You know what I'm saying? All of that shit was here, okay? But the fact is, is that there's a lot of red flags here, too. And bottom line is, is that, you know... Somebody definitely is running. Somebody's definitely in jail here with judgment. There you go. Giving, giving to toxicity. Tox all they want to do is fight, y'all. That's it. I'm looking at the underneath the deck. That's all they want to do is fight, conflict, have people up in somebody's business, obstacles, ego clashing, opposition, jumping out here, taking risks with folks' heart and shit, and also taking risks with their freedom because I do have jail here, um, and having people in third-party situations. Also going through the money. We got somebody that's on drugs as well, okay? So we got misfortune, lost scandals. Somebody may have an STD, hardship, left out in the cold. Y'all, this person is tricky as fuck, okay, you guys?
This person is a skilled manipulator and something is coming to the light. Might be a pregnancy for some of y'all, okay? So let me go ahead and tell y'all who's on the board. We got Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio. Somebody definitely do love somebody. Somebody could possibly be a marriage. Somebody damn sure wants some money. I can tell you that. Somebody using somebody for some money. Somebody done got somebody for some money. Sagittarius. No conversation with Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. So for some of you guys, you guys are getting conversation. For some of you guys, you're watching them from a distance. And for some of you guys, they're ignoring. Okay. They're just ignoring. Pisces is here. Heavy. Cancer. Scorpio. Heavy. Heavy water, y'all. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. There has been a reunion several times, okay? With the star, the ace of cups, yes. Somebody's lost a job. Somebody's not doing well. Somebody's going to be changing jobs. Somebody might have to go to a distance to get a job. Like I said, rehab, military, um, government facility, okay? Somebody's about to act a whole fool out here or they already have, Okay. Uh, Sagittarius, yes, there's been spying and watching and gossiping and carrying on. Somebody's been watching somebody love on somebody else or finding some information out. That will be true for some of you guys. Taurus is here. Leo Sagittarius Aries is here. Somebody's very defensive and shit has blown up in somebody's face. Yes, this is a lot of turmoil here, you guys. Um, so with that being said, you guys, like I said, um, you know, do not engage. You know, this right here is energy. Um, that will change up. It will switch up. You guys, you're just going to have to, you know, April, it was April 23rd. The retrograde is over April 25th. You got seven days after that. Okay. So just kind of, um, you know, go into the, this here temperance. All right. Uh, meditation, prayer, you know, evoke the, uh, four swords, you know, make your energy fall back, recuperate. Okay. Before you, um, you don't give any more energy to this. If you possibly can. If you know anything about transmission of energy, do it. Okay. Because it's right here for whoever this read is for. This is serious turmoil here, you guys. This is serious turmoil and some serious, volatile, unstable ass energy, you guys. So like I said, my goal is to put one piece together for you. If I put one piece together for you, that means that I've definitely done my job. And I would appreciate it if you guys like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Cap. Y'all stay up, okay, for real, and mount up, and pull your energy back, okay, you guys? Love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon.